welcome back to another What's For Dinner video, or welcome if you are new. My name is Veronica, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some meals that we've had this past week. We tried a few different new recipes that we absolutely loved, so I hope it can give your family some meal inspiration as well. But anyway, let's get to cooking. This night for dinner, I fixed crock pot meatball subs. The first thing that I done was add one pound of lean ground beef to a bowl, and then I added in a half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs to that. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. I then added in one teaspoon of salt. teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, I then added in one egg, and one tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. I then mixed all of those ingredients together by hand just until they were combined. This was our first time trying this recipe and they were so good. My whole family loved these meatballs. They were super simple to make and they had a great flavor. We used these meatballs to make meatball subs, but they would also be great on spaghetti or even by themselves. They were so good. Once the meat mixture was thoroughly combined, I then shaped them into 30 one inch balls. And then I placed them into a 13 by nine inch ungreased baking dish. Once you get the meatballs rolled out, you can bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, or you can microwave the meatballs for six minutes on high and turn them in between. I chose to microwave them because it was a lot faster, so I microwaved them on high for three minutes, and then I took them out and flipped them over, and then I put them back in the microwave and microwaved them for another three minutes. Once my meatballs was finished cooking, I then moved over to my crock pot and I poured in a 45 ounce container of spaghetti sauce into my crock pot. You can use your favorite spaghetti sauce. I then added in all of the meatballs to my spaghetti sauce and once I got all of the meatballs added, I just gave that a good stir to make sure all of my meatballs was well covered in the spaghetti sauce. I then placed my lid on my crock pot and I cooked it on low for two hours. Once 
Once the meatballs were finished cooking, we then added them to a sub roll and we topped it with some mozzarella cheese and we just let that cheese melt. And we had some chips as a side and this meal was fantastic. It was so good. This was the best meatball sub that I have ever had. This night for dinner, we had crock pot pizza casserole. The first thing that I done was brown two pounds of lean ground beef. I also had a pot of water on the other eye of my stove and I was bringing that to a bowl and that way I could cook my pasta. Once I got my ground beef chopped up, I then added in one sweet onion that I had already diced up. This is one of my family's favorite recipes. We love having this meal. If you don't like all ground beef, you can also do half ground beef, half Italian sausage. You can just fix it however your family likes it, but this is the way that my family enjoys it. Once my water comes to a boil on the other eye of my stove, I just add in three cups of rotini pasta and I cook that according to the package directions. Once my ground beef is finished cooking, I then remove that from the heat and drain the grease off of it. I then add in a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. two tablespoons of tomato paste, and two 14 ounce jars of pizza sauce. You can use your favorite pizza sauce. And then I just mix all of those ingredients together until everything is well combined. I then move over to my crock pot and I add in a layer of pasta to the bottom of my crock pot. And then I just add a layer of that meat mixture over top of the pasta. And then I top the meat mixture with a layer of pepperoni. You can add whatever pizza toppings that your family enjoys. And then I top the pepperoni with some finely shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I just repeat those layers until I have used all of my ingredients. 
and I end my last layer with the mozzarella cheese. And then I place my lid on my crock pot and I cook it on low for three to four hours just until everything is heated through. And this is what it looks like whenever it's finished cooking and then it is ready to serve. And here it is in my bowl. This night for dinner, I fixed one pot taco pasta. It was our first time trying this recipe and we loved it. It's definitely a winner in our book. The first thing that I done was brown one pound of ground beef. Once my ground beef was finished cooking, I then drained the grease off of it. And then I returned my Dutch oven back to my stovetop and I added in one tablespoon of butter and I just let that butter melt. And then I added in two cloves of minced garlic and I just let that cook for about one minute. And then I added in one pack of taco seasoning. You can use your favorite taco seasoning. And then I added in one cup of chicken broth and one cup of beef broth. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. And one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Why is that word so hard to say? One 10 ounce can of tomatoes with green chilies. And one cup of milk. And then I just mixed all of those ingredients together until everything was well combined. And then I just let all of those ingredients come to a gentle bowl. And then I added in a half a pound of medium pasta shells. And then I just cooked that according to the package directions on the pasta. Thank you. 
Once my pasta was finished cooking, I then added in one and three fourths cups of finely shredded mild cheddar cheese and one cup of Monterey cheese. And then I just mixed all of those ingredients together and whenever the cheese was melted, it was ready to serve. We love this recipe of this one pot taco pasta. It was so easy and so good and we will definitely be having this again. This night for dinner, I fixed Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life's French onion burgers and I cannot tell you how amazing these burgers are. I will link Tamara's channel as well as a video of her making these burgers below. So make sure that you go check that out because you do not want to miss this recipe of these French onion burgers. My whole family enjoyed them. They are absolutely delicious. That's it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day.